Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders. Today, we're at Camberg Racing with Jerry Zayden out of Huntington Beach, California. Jerry, tell us a little bit about your business. Yeah, so we're a manufacturer of high-end off-road truck suspension. We do everything from typical uniball upper A-arms and we build full-blown trophy trucks here. Um, today, we're gonna be welding one of our three and a half inch, nine inch custom fabricated rear end housings. These are used in hot rods, off-road race trucks, pretty much anything you throw a lot of horsepower at. We're gonna have one of our lead welders, Peter Ryan, demonstrate the Miller Multimatic 215 in the MIG process on this quarter inch, three and a half inch tube, welding to a 3.8 steel faceplate. We'll be using the Multimatic 215 in the MIG process using the manual mode. So we got Peter over here who's gonna do the welding on this rear end housing. Peter, tell us a little bit about the process and how you put one of these things together. So we get the center sections in laser cuts and then we put them together. We weld it together and then we send it to our CNC guy out in the shop and then he faces off the, the front of the housing. And then we put the third member in, we put a true bar through it and then we have sleeves on the internal and outside and then we begin the welding process. And that true bar, this is a real strong yeah. bar that keeps these tubes square. It's, ha it's, it's half inch to. thick. And this will all be MIG welded. Yes. Is there going to be any TIG welding done on this rear end? Yeah, the filler cap in the back of the rear end will be TIG welded. The new Multimatic 215's inverter engine has a process selector switch that allows you to fine tune the welding arc for the machine. With the Multimatic 215, you can select between flux cord with no gas, MIG welding stainless with a tri-mix, MIG welding steel with a 75-25 mix, MIG welding steel with 100% CO2, MIG welding aluminum with 100% argon, or TIG with the lift arc with remote or with the output on, and stick welding. For Peter's first welds, he'll be using the MIG welding process. Peter will be taking the Multimatic 215 out of AutoSet. He likes to run it in the manual mode, where his voltage is going to be set about 19 and a half volts and about 310 inches per minute on his wire feed speed. This gives Peter the welding arc he's looking for when welding the thick quarter inch axle tube to the main housing. To TIG weld the oil filler cap on the rear end housing, we'll be changing the Multimatic 215 to the TIG welding process. We'll be installing our TIG torch, foot pedal, and changing the gas from the C25 to the 100% argon. We'll be changing our process selector switch from the MIG Steel C25 down to the TIG lift arc setting. Notice that the color LCD screen will instruct you on how to hook up the front of the machine. Right now it's telling me I have a cable error because I still have the MIG setup hooked up. We are going to be changing it to the TIG process by moving our ground cable connector from the negative over to the positive and installing our TIG torch connector into the negative terminal. We'll be setting our main amperage at about 170 amps. When TIG welding with the Multimatic 215, Peter prefers to use the wireless foot control option instead of using the wired foot control that comes with the machine. To do so, we'll be connecting the transmitter from the wireless foot control to an adapter cord. We'll then route the adapter cord through the front of the machine and connect it to the foot control receptacle located inside by the wire drive housing. As you see, Peter was able to finish off this high-end rear end housing with the Multimatic 215. 
And to top it off, he was able to TIG weld this bung on right here and we're good to go. But for more information on Camberg, visit us on Facebook or Instagram at Camberg Racing or Camberg.com. For more information on the Multimatic 215, check out MillerWelds.com.